Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use some clear text credentials found in a box, whether in registry or in a txt file or anything. And for this specific video, I am using Chatterbox from Hacktabox. So let's see how I figured out where the clear text credentials are found. Right query. Let's just check out the registry for it. HKLM software. Microsoft, Windows, NT, current version, WinLogan. Yeah, so it shows a default password saved in the registry for uh, auto logon feature of Windows. And it shows the username is Alfred, but um, let's see if it can be any it, it can be a password for administrator so for this purpose i generally use netcat exe and send it to the box that i'm working on um to get a shell on on my box so i already have netcat exe on my current working directory on my attacker box so the only thing i'll do is uh, getting that cadex on the vulnerable box. So for this purpose, I am gonna go to a directory where I can, where I have uh, write privileges for the current user Alfred, and I'm gonna go to desktop. All right. So how are we gonna get the netcat exe? I'm gonna use a PowerShell command since I already have a PowerShell low privilege shell here. So the command goes like this, uh, new object, <clears throat> system, net, uh, web client, uh, download file from my box. So we'll write our IP address, then the port 8. Thousand since I'm listening with a simple HTTP server, right on simple HTTP server. So netcat exe is waiting for me. I'm gonna save it uh, as netcat exe to this directory, right? Then close the parentheses and it should get the file right now. Okay, we see that netcat exe is captured from my box. Let's see if it's here. Yeah, I get it this here. So, uh, how I'm gonna use these credential, th these credential that's found in the registry. I'm gonna start uh, username and password in some variables using PowerShell. So let's say username will be administrator. Administrator. No type right. Administrator. Yeah. So the password will be uh, welcome one exclamation mark. Nice. Then we'll say secure password. Uh, we'll store the password convert to secure string. Um, Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay, I'll get the shell again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Let's go there again. Right. I have not get exit here. Uh, let's see it all here again. I'm a type of girl. I, I do typos like all the time. Yes, let's continue. <clears throat> uh, convert to secure string. Then we'll say password as plain text. And first we'll save credentials in this variable then we'll say
I've just stored the credentials in some variables. So right now I'm going to use the netcat exit to bind the admin shell to on my box. So I'm going to listen on for no, sorry, let's see, uh, 5555, five, five, five. okay, pick a favorite port, it doesn't matter. So we're going to start a process on PowerShell uh, on the, okay, where's the directory, desktop, uh, netcat.exe, then we'll give some argument list by uh, minus e cmd exe my ip address 16 the port number 5555 five, five, five. then close this then we'll give the credential as the variable that i've already stored so far credential and we get the shell let's ask who am i now gives us the administrator. So let's see the comments that I've used so far. Uh, I've checked for clear text password, that auto login password saved in the registry by this comment. Uh, then I got the netcat.exe file from my attacker box to the box that I have low privilege shell. And then I've used, uh, I, I'm sorry, I stored the credentials, username, password in some variables and convert the password in a form that I can use later with this command start process. I just um, write the directory of netcat exit and give the argument of netcat exit as this. Find cmd exit to my shell on this box with this specific port and use the credential that I've already uh, stored in this variable so far. Very easy way to use these credentials, but if you don't know how to uh, use these comments, it can be a bit painful. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, bye.